I want y'all to give a big round of applause for my man, Ted Alexandro, y'all. Clap it up for Ted. <laughs> Alexandro. Oh, thanks, guys, for almost clapping until I made it to the stage. <laughs> what, does a guy have to be convicted of sexual assault to get an extended ov ovation? <laughs> what do I have to do up here? Do I have to take my dick out? What do I have to do for you to cheer my arrival at the stage? Ask yourselves that. Oh, you know where you are. Don't you? You know where you are. Tough time for stand-up comedy. Particularly certain comedians. <laughs> What's going on though? The icons, right? They're dropping like flies. Bill Cosby's a rapist. If you had told me in the 1990s <coughs> that between Bill Cosby and Donald Trump, one would go on to become president and one would be going to jail for rape, I would have got that one wrong. <laughs> But what's with this PC culture? It's suffocating, right? Oh. Do you want to live in a world where a man can't politely ask a colleague if he can take off all his clothes <laughs> and masturbate to completion? Are we in that? Is that where we are as a culture? In the most gentlemanly of terms, may I please? take my dick out and ejaculate in the workplace? Is that where we are? <laughs> Look, there are mechanisms in place for justice, right? Eventually, justice is served. You know, women complain that they're second-class citizens. But look, Bill Cosby raped dozens of women. Decades went by. The allegations were widely known and reported. Comedian Hannibal Barris told some jokes about it. It went viral. And eventually justice was served. The system works. <laughs> U.S. military has an epidemic of sexual assault and rape. People report it, it gets ignored. Why should the stand-up community be held to a higher standard than the United States military? It's fucked up, right? Very fucked up. Why can't we just return to the golden age of comedy? Why can't we put it behind us? Just return to the golden age. Let Bill, let Bill go back to being Dr. Huxtable, a, a gynecologist with access to vaginas and drugs. <laughs> they say criminals leave clues. I just thought it was a fun family show. I had no idea. It was a murder trail. Right? Why can't we just let Louie go back to writing jokes about how men are the gravest threat to safety of women? But he, does, he doesn't just write jokes, he walks the walk. <laughs> and I think that is to be commended. He's a performance artist. Very disturbing, Mr. C.K.
but appropriate, right, in the age of Trump? It's no different. Is it any different? Then Donald Trump said, when you're famous, you can grab him by the pussy and nothing will happen. Louis' version of that joke was, when you're famous, you can ask him if you can jerk off in front of him. <laughs> and clearly, nothing will happen. Oh, God, and the, but there's people, right? Oh, but he's lost, he's lost, he's lost everything. It's not fair that men should lose everything in a flash. And by everything, I mean, Hardly anything. And, and in a flash, I mean a decade later. All right, let's, let's, let's do that shift. I said what I need to say for tonight. Maybe some jokes would be nice. Not that these aren't, but, you know, this is what I walk around thinking all day. And now you're going to see my comedy act. 